the Oakland Vet and Birth Foundation are incredibly proud to honor two amazing women in our community who are the personification of birth workers. And I'll just read off the receipts, the certificates. Oakland Vet and Birth Foundation recognizes Kiki Jordan and declares her to be a good birth keeper. Can I have some applause for Kiki. <laughs> this due to her exquisite professional care and in celebration of her service at Marin Family Birth Center, a facility which makes it possible for more families to experience the safety and empowerment of birth center birthing without being hindered by matters of finances. We honor her bright spirit and wish her many more abundant years as a midwife and guide. Oakland Better Birth Foundation recognizes Jaylon Muhammad and declares her to be a good birth keeper. This, due to her fierce advocacy of the reproductive rights of women, we thank her for a lifetime of service as a midwife and health educator to women forgotten by this society. We thank her for all of her efforts in birthing the Marin Family Birth Center, a haven for families wishing to birth in the arms of their ancestors and with the guidance of midwives of color. So we, we thank you and we love you, Javon and Kiki. I hope you show up later. And I will turn the mic over to anyone who would like to say any little thing at all. Okay, I'll be fast. So some Sara mentioned that we did a class this past year for not pregnant people. It was called Childbirth Ed for Not Yet Pregnant People we're frank about what we offer. And so I just wanted to talk briefly about prevention because I think everyone in this room is either a parent or a soon-to-be parent or a birth worker or a support person or somebody who's working in healthcare and has a real emotional and maybe career and personal investment in what it means to be pregnant and what it means to be in a reproducing family and what it means to be a support role in that family. And I have the privilege of being around all of you when I work. The amazing birth workers and nurses and midwives and doulas, beings who saw as apprentice for the last three years this month. Congratulations to both of us. <laughs> so I have the privilege of being in this world and I'm also 30 going on 31. I don't have any children of myself yet. And the vast majority of my peers, I'm gonna be honest, are not thinking about pregnancy and birth. Some of them are, some of them have questions or they have a health issue that comes up that makes them ask more questions or they're starting to think about what it might be like to be pregnant. But a lot of my peers are not thinking about this. And unfortunately what that means is that a lot of them are burning the wick at both ends. A lot of them are treating their bodies not as optimally as they could. And as Samsara mentioned, we know the evidence, we know that good food and good care and good sleep and eliminating toxins and doing what you can to care for your vessel. And as our wonderful poet said, feeling ready in some ways. Uh, we know that that makes things easier for birthing people. And I'm not gonna stand up here and say like, you can figure it all out before you have kids because I would never claim that. Um, I would never claim that I had figured it all out. But we do know that there are certain things that you can do ahead of time that will make both becoming pregnant and being pregnant and giving birth and becoming a parent easier. And so I'm asking and inviting you all to share what we do, not only with the people who are pregnant, not only with the people who are birth workers, but also the people who may want to be pregnant someday. Maybe they're a year or two away, or five years, or even 10 years from wanting to reproduce and they don't have any kind of context or information about what it means to be pregnant. Maybe they are in a support role and they don't have any context or information. So childbirth ed, speaking to a doula, speaking to a midwife, it's not just for birthing and pregnant people. And so I just wanna really 
uh, highlight that what we offer here with the Open Better Birth Foundation is a human endeavor. So no matter your role and no matter where you are at in life, there are always things that we can do to better improve our own self-care and also to be more supportive as we are to people who are in that process already. And so I invite you to invite others to our programming, to our childbirth ed classes, to come speak to a doula. I would love it if someone came to me and said, I want to get pregnant in a year from now. What should I start doing today? Because too frequently we see people dealing with crisis management three months, six months, nine months into their pregnancy. And there's only so much even the best doula in the world or the best midwife in the world can do if somebody hasn't started doing some of that work ahead of time. And this isn't to blame anyone who came into pregnancy a hot mess and their nutrition all messed up, because that's not the reality for a lot of people. But I just do want to highlight that what we offer is available to everyone, and that the sooner we can share that this information is useful for pregnant and non-pregnant people alike, the sooner that they can start making choices, so that when it comes down to it, as much as I would love self-love to be the main motivator for everyone, it's not. So I would love for people to feel inspired to start taking those steps ahead of pregnancy so that when they come to their midwives, when they come to their doula, we can just shower them with celebration and good information and informed consent and they don't have to necessarily mitigate the years of bad nutrition or unaddressed emotional resolutions in the family, whatever it may be. Um, so I just wanted to say that note about prevention and note that what we offer here is for everyone including birthing people most essentially, but also people who may be coming up to that place in their life and people who may be supporting others in that role. So thanks for listening.